Hello and welcome to episode three of Monday BJJ with me, your host, Brian. So in this episode, we're going to be looking a little bit more just at the live rolling and skipping over some of the uh, other stuff. Um, I think the training and the drilling and everything we do to warm up is important, but the main place that you get good um, or get better, I guess, is in the live rolling because that's where you're really doing the most active training. You're getting the most feedback on what works and what doesn't. Um, and like in this position where I've been able to pass guard, I'm kind of using a variation of the smash pass that we've been working and then I'm able to take mount, you know, I mean, we've been, work, we've been drilling that for a long time, but you can tell that like, that's what we've been drilling because now that I'm here and I'm in a high mount, I don't know where to go from here. And, you know, watching the footing f- footage now, it's like super obvious that like right there, I should have be going for an arm bar, but I'm not. And it just shows how, you know, lack of practice that I have. At some point in here, I think I do a really good Ezekiel on him, but that might have actually been earlier in the role. Now that I've been rewatching the footage some, I can't tell and I can't remember where that happens. So I also apologize. My voice is extra husky tonight because uh, I've had a little bit of a sinus drainage issue. So bear with me. So this was a weird moment in the role where uh, once he flipped me over, he had my leg in a weird way and I thought he was going to like knee bar me or something. And uh, so I just kind of, I don't know, I didn't know what to do. And uh, he was saying, no, I just was going to roll up and take side control like this. So I kind of freaked out unnecessarily, but it was still a decent roll all in all. This guy you might remember from my last video, uh, last time was his very first time on the mats, and uh, you can watch this roll and just see how much he's improved And after just one week of training. He was giving me some trouble before just because he's a sort of, you know, fast, energetic kid. Uh, I say kid, I don't know, he might be as old as I am or older, but uh, yeah, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you enjoy foreground action blocking my uh, background shots. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. But you can see like how much he's improved like already. Like I'm not, you know, just handling him really. Um, he's re-guarding some and, you know, I'm still having quite a bit of success against him. But it's like it's not without, you know, getting rolled over a few times. So he doesn't know any, you know, really... I don't think he knows any finishes or anything yet, but the fact that, you know, he's still taking the advantage position and holding it is like a good sign for him. And I'm just trying to work my legs in and, you know, work on retaking guard. And we get rolled a few times and here's some more foreground action blocking my background shots. So be sure to like and subscribe. Um, I'm trying to ride a loose mount here just so that I can, you know, take back if I need to. Uh, But it doesn't work out super well and I get rolled, so I need to work on staying lighter and, you know, holding my positioning. And then this is another roll with this guy, and I'm trying to do a pass where you capture, press their shin into their butt so they can't use their leg to block you but um he starts working like a spider type guard on me and winds up pulling me into a triangle and so I just kind of have to submit after a little bit I try to fight as best I can to give him some good feedback on his triangle but it's really started to take me out there for a second so I had to reset He's just a really strong guard player, so I'm really working into his game plan, unfortunately, here. Um, And so now I'm trying to figure out what I need to do now that I'm in this sort of spider guard. And I try to go around, but now he's got basically, yeah, this arm bar situation on me. And he knows that my shoulders are bad, so he takes it really slow on me, really waits to put the crank on and then gets the tap, so 
he tells me that he was doing it. And I was like, I appreciate that. So you can see he's pulling on my gi really tight here and sets up this sweep really nice. And then I'm trying to get better about using my arms to make frames and um, move my body more. But in doing so, I allow him to capture my arm and get this arm bar off. So I get kind of smoked there. Not very good on my part, but, you know, what are you going to do? So be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you like just jumping into live rolling and kind of hearing my thoughts on that, or if you would rather uh, hear me talk more about drills and um, specific exercises and stuff. I know a little bit about weightlifting, and um, I used to do powerlifting, and so that got me thinking about this week's topic because um, I've hurt myself in the past by always maxing out and trying to go you know, really hard, really heavy. And in jiu-jitsu, I'm really trying to take a very different approach. Um, like I want to train hard, but I don't want to train so hard that I hurt myself. And at the same time, you don't want to train not enough so that you don't get any better. Um, and so that's why I was trying to think of like, Am I actually like pushing myself enough or like how do I you know push myself the right amount? And that's why I was thinking about live rolling more and um, thinking more about my training in terms of the live rolling and opposed to just the drilling and stuff. Um, there's just moments where you can push yourself in the live rolling that you know you you can't really do quite the same thing in drilling. Like drilling's good to get the muscle memory down and learn the technique, but you really improve in the live rolling. So this guy's a new um, blue belt and he's just taking it to me. Um, he's been out of the gym for a while, but uh, he's still a blue belt to my white belt. So um, I'm getting a little better. Uh, he's not... Um, completely destroying me, but he's pretty much destroying me, you can see. So I got to work on, the, you know, playing better defense and better offense and everything, really, whole game. And yeah, after he choked me out, he kind of walked me through uh, getting that little s sweep there, I guess, or reversal, I'm not entirely sure what you call it because he, you know, he's still got me in guard. So, and then here I get to roll with the instructor and I try to hit my double leg against him, but I didn't do a very good job and <laughs> he didn't let me hit it this week. So be sure to like, and subscribe for that uh, foreground action blocking my background shots. I've been trying to work a lot more of the, uh, sort of standing jujitsu or standing uh, judo type throws and things. Um, here's more foreground action blocking my background shots. So smash that like button for me getting smashed in the background and you can't see it. Um, yeah, there's not a lot to say about that, but it does, you know, you'll see in the next roll, um, and I'll just talk about it a little bit here just so you can be kind of prepared for it, but it's like this next guy moves so slowly. He's like an anaconda. You can actually see him there in the background. He's in the black gi. Um, he's another brown belt, and he's just super methodical and straightforward with what he does. And it's almost like boring to roll against him, or for me anyways, because it's just like he's doing something. It's like, oh, man, he's doing this thing. I better defend against this thing. And then, like, you just get like rolled over and it's like, oh, well, never mind then, I guess. Um, I actually did have to cut out like somewhat of a large portion of this because we're so far in the background that you can't see half of what we're doing. So here we're going over that smash pass. We just practiced um, at the beginning of class and he was kind of trying to help me walk through it because he did a thing to me where when we were drilling it, he just like threw me over. And so I asked him to kind of show me how he did that. So that was what we went through. My voice is really starting to gunk up, so I apologize. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. And, uh, yeah, you can see here, watch him just, like, 
work his way around me. He's really incredible at putting pressure in and um, just really being obscenely heavy for how, you know, not big a guy he is. I mean, he's pretty big, but he feels way heavier than he should. So uh, leave a comment if you just saw that flip. It was pretty sweet. And uh, smash the like button for more uh, foreground action, blocking my background shots. Maybe someday I'll learn how to set the camera up correctly. Yeah, this is like two brand new guys. Center stage here. So, seeing a lot of really great things there. But that's not really what you're here for. I mean, let's be real. If you're watching this channel, you're here for some white belt stuff anyways. So, um... Yeah, so I'm trying to work some stuff. Leave a comment down below if you have any, you know, thoughts on what I could do better. Um, if there's anything, you know, you think I should try or not try or um, anything you'd like to hear me talk more about, any topics or things like that, it'd be great. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.